Hello everybody, Adam Bok my name is Adam Bokte and we uh, are going to make sure, well, I uh, did some, uh, I did some uh, stuff um, in the background and um, hopefully uh, space and time uh, continuum will uh, behave this time. Yeah, like you said, Erebus. Uh, but yeah, um, again. Uh, hopefully it will work out this time, and uh, if it if it doesn't, then uh, damn, it, it's going to be annoying. Uh, also, uh, let me just see if I can get the data. Good, good, okay. Okay, so um, with that being said, uh, let's uh, head right over here, and hopefully it will work out. Uh. There we go. Now then. Sun, uh, soft sunlight filters through my windows, billing across my eyes, throwing my arms over my head. I pull myself into a stretch, feeling... Wait. And I... Oh yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, this, um, this is stuff we haven't seen before, so... Um, um, yeah, it's... The, it's uh, hopefully fixed. Regardless how I feel about the situation, I'm determined uh, determined uh, to make tonight's party a success. But first, I need to go to work. Staying out of bed, I search for some clean clothes. Adeline, uh... Okay. Go downstairs into the empty kitchen where I grab a quick breakfast. Sunshine brightly overhead, warming the cool air. It's a beautiful day, mild day, and it makes me want to. Oh, okay. Soon I arrive. The little bell announces my entrance. Welcome. Hello there, Council of Men. That's a good name. She blinks at me from behind the counter. Oh, hey, cuz. I thought you had the day off. Wait, I work without. Oh, whatever. Mina nods. Yeah, but Erwin's busy and I had nothing else planned. Can you watch the counter while I help mom and dad out back? That I can do. Sure. I take Mina's place behind the counter while she slips into the kitchen. Customers readily and steadily enter the shop and I soon fall busy into a rid busy rhythm. Uh, uh, that's right, there we go. Eventually, the rush dies down. Customer, blah, 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 okay, uh, customer service, yes. Oh, wow, I knew it'd be busy, but I didn't expect it to be that busy. <sighs> of course, a little too busy. She giggles. <laughs> I know, right? It's a good thing we're both here. I don't know how mom and dad would have handled it on their own. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mina leans on her elbow and props her face in her head. So, uh, what present did you get Erwin? Presents? I blink. Present? Yeah, you know, for tonight. Um. What should I get her? I mean, let's be honest. Um, I haven't gotten one yet. Do you think I? Oh, but, okay. That's a stupid question. Um, yes. She's leaving, and we don't know when we'll see her again. You can't go empty-handed. A ring. We can give her a ring. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. What do you think I should get her? Anything that she'd like. Hmm. Like what? What does Erwin even see in you? Hey. I'll never understand it. I mean, what does Kose see in you? Well, uh, Kose is riding towards us. Hey, Mina. <sighs> Kose, you're here. Of course, I'll always come when my services are required. You're not even employ uh, employed here, though. Oh, aren't you off today? Hmm. I to you too. <laughs> yeah, did he just ignore me? Sorry, it's good to see you, my man. 
I mean, I got ties though. Um, you're right, you're right. She does got them ties though. Yeah, you too, but what are you doing here? Mina texted me this morning that she was working alone. So, like the good boyfriend that I am, I came by to keep her company. Um, thank you. Unnecessary, but thank you. He grins proudly. Mona ro Mina rolls her eyes, but uh, smiles anyway. The more the merrier. Why do I feel like the third wheel? <laughs> yeah, let's be that. I glance back and forth between two, suddenly feeling very out of the place. <sighs> That's a familiar feeling. Now that coat's here, I guess I'll go now. Go where? We're still on the clock, cuz. I'm pretty sure you you said I got the, the day off. What are you What are you talking about? I got the day off. Oh wait, what? Uh, one of the customers in shops. I clear up the table to give me an. Um, and cause a moment for themselves. As I tear up the place, a couple of girls my my age at the uh, welcome. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Thanks. Bad girl. I need where's my water bottle? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> uh, I get back to cleaning as I begin browsing. Although I notice one of the girls keeps eyeing Kose. What? I narrow my eyes. Kose getting unsolicited female attention. Something's up. Something is definitely up. Um, excuse me. He turns around, blinking. Oh. Oh, sorry. I don't actually work here. No, no. It's just. Um. Are you Kosei the Wall Nakahara? What kind of stupid name is that? The moment of silence... I was... Ugh, this is... Moments, there's a moment of silence as the nickname registered, then Kosei breaks out into... Oh, god Why, damn it. yes, yes I am! Ugh. Ah, the girl gas fidging and... Ugh, really? Um, I don't know if that's something, uh, is that something to be proud of? I, I don't think so. Cause it's mad from air to air, it broadens the... It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Do you play soccer too? Oh, oh, it, oh, soccer, uh, okay, I suppose it's uh, kind of uh, understandable. The <laughs> wall referring to Mina. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Careful now, we don't want to die yet. She shakes her head. Block. Oh, thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. While the girl continues to chat, Mina and I stare in disbelief. Someone actually referred to him as the wall. I'd be better be, be thankful it wasn't you. Yep. Unironically. Yeah. Like she actually meant it seriously. So it's not really a compliment? Yeah, I can't believe it either. We're never going to hear the end of this, are we? You, you're his girlfriend. It's up. It's uh, it's um, down to you to stop him from gloating. Ah. <coughs> Nobody calls me the wall, huh? Uh, uh I feel a disturbance in space-time continuum. You don't say. You don't say. Damn, this game is so good at breaking the fourth wall. Admit it, bro. The wall strikes both on and off the field. Uh, the wall is going to be kicked down by a titan. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't need to. Uh, that's a good argument, actually. Mina rolls her eyes. Oh Kose, please. Yes, Kose, shut up. <sighs> What's a Kose? There's only the wall here. Damn it, you can't. It's not good when you take it. Mina raises her brow and pouts, feigning disappointment. Oh, really? That's too bad, because I had a sweet treat put aside for my boyfriend, Kosei. But since he's not here... Ah! I like Mina. 
Kosa drops uh, the act and leans across the counter like an excited puppy. Wait, me, me, I'm a Kose. <sighs> Once an idiot, always an idiot. Mina shrugs. I'm sorry, but I only see the wall here. No, I promise I'm a Kose. Uh, he is the wall. He's obviously the wall since he walled himself off the street. Yeah, that's the thing. Let's, let's, uh, I'm, I'm against uh, him on this. Mina giggles and while Kose deflats. Why are we friends again? Hey, you, te you can tell me again. I pat him on the back. Fuck up, dude. No time to wall wallow in disappointment. Okay, um, I think this is a bit too much. If you don't stop, there may be a walloping in your future. And I take it back. That that wall not that wall. Okay, that was that was that was bad. That one was terrible. That one was so bad. <laughs> How can I say no after all of that? No. Sweet. <sighs> More cuts men to the shop, uh, and a moment of quiet. Oh. Soon enough, I shift to Uncle Hajime joins. Uh. Sure, that's a wonderful idea. I didn't read it. What actually? What? I just wanted to be get away from that cringy moment. He chuckles. No problem. Just leave it to us. I'll leave it at home, and you can pick it up whenever you're ready. Cool. What actually? You're alive. It's my pleasure. Hmm. Everyone's saying one last goodbye. I join Mina outside the bakery. Good thinking on that cake, cuz. Everyone loves that baking. Oh, we're saving up a cake. Good. I told Kose I'd come over once I was done. We're going to the venue early to set up. How about you? Uh, well... Well, after the airfall of game, I think I better go shopping. Yeah, that's... That is correct. She nods. Yes, you should. Do you want my help picking something out? I mean... It makes sense to have, you know, somebody who, you know, get along with Erlin that well, but... Uh... I mean, it's not like I'm, uh... Too bad at it. Am I? No, it's okay, I got it. Okay. Alright, it better be something good. A ring! A ring! Don't worry, it will be. Hopefully, at least. I mean, my MC ain't the brightest of the bunch, but... Eh. Uh, what would be a good something personal? Um, jewelry will probably last longer, but something personal. Um, I'd rather not uh, be. I want jewelry. Pretty sure the mall. Hopefully, it uh, will be uh, good. Uh, after browsing a couple of stores with no luck, I find my step into the final shop. Um, uh, set of silver shot bracelet. Okay, good, 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 good. Console. Yes! Oh, yes, I picked it. I picked definitely the right thing. Set of uh, direct repetitions around relation, but each of them holding the other heart while physically far away. After I make my purchase, I head off to shop and leave them all. That is. Huh, I won't. I'm not gonna say that I um, did a good job, but damn, I did a good job. I walk at I walk at a brisk pace, feeling antsy to return. Now that I bought a, bought a present, I need to prepare it and then wrap it up nicely. As soon as I'm home, I change the clothes and, re and freshen up. Then I beautifully wrap my present. I have one more thing I need to do with the buckle. I enter the kitchen, open the fridge. I inside the blah 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 blah, sprinkle with fruit. It looks still hmm, nice. Carefully, I put the cake into the berry and then leave the house. And karaoke lunch is close to the arcade, so it's not far, not a far walk. Oh, it's got a uh, uh, I clutch the present in my hand and hurry my pace. As the sun sets, the chill begins to creep in. Is it cold now? I mean, wait, isn't this supposed to be uh, spring? Ah, why not? Ah, uh, whatever. Um, decorate the hanging, blah blah blah. We'll miss you and buy some nice. Why not a red? That's what I'm saying. Um, I personally think it should be a wedding ring, but um, apparently that is not what they want to go with this. But hey, at least it's you know, it's not a bad present, I think. 
Me not get angles so how to Hmm. Wow, nice job you guys. Thanks. It was mostly Mina. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That's not true. Kira actually bought most of the decorations. I just helped throw it all together. That also doesn't surprise me. Really? I mean, I hope Kosei actually helping maybe will be my biggest surprise. Oh, definitely. Erwin then again, he's not totally himself. useless. Totally. Scooch over the table and gently place the cake. Oh yay! This looks beautiful. That it do. Is that a Mano specialty cake I see? Wait. Um, it sure is. Baked by Uncle Hajime. Hopefully, it's not the one of his experiments. Score! Now it's a real party. Who does bring out the good stuff? Who reaches a finger to taste the frosting with Mina so I smell it? Nuh -uh. This is for Erwin. Thank you. Speaking of which, where is she? She'll be here soon. Yeah, we're all a bit early anyway. Come and look at songs with us. We're trying to find a perfect song to sing to her. Uh, would she even know them though? I mean, uh, would she even know the lyrics? Um, I mean, she is from a different world. Does uh, does she listen to music? I don't. Know. I'm ready for nervous intensifying. <laughs> I gulp. Wait, I have to sing in front of everyone? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm not ready for that yet. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing. Um, don't worry, my man. We're all gonna sing together. Allow my dulcet tones to be your guide. Um, okay, so listen, I'm not uh, your typical uh, idol VTuber. I am a survivalist VTuber. I don't uh, do I don't do that stuff. I don't sing, and I don't want to sing. I like to fight and survive and just observe stuff. Thank you. So let's. Uh, but then again, I think Adeline would love it. So um, uh, we'll just have to uh, see. Right, Kira? Oh, damn it. She played. If we all sing together, then I'm sure we'll sound just fine. Oh, god damn it. That's the spirit. Oh, that's true. I do wonder. Adeline, she seems to be good at everything, apparently, so I think she would be a great singer. As I scroll with Kira. How about this one? Oh, yes, it's perfect. Do you guys know it? Of course I know it. Uh door opens and Ariel walks while you know, glancing around the room. Oh my! Oh. Erlen, you're here! Finally! She gave me this look around. You did all of this for me? Of course, baby girl! Yeah. I mean, of like course, it? baby, I think that would be the most appropriate, right? I love it! Thank you so much, Erlen. I mean, I guess baby girl this would be something you say to, a, to your daughter. This is just oh, well, whatever. The the girls lead Adeline to the couch while Kose and I bring out the snacks and drinks. After everyone is, sit is seated, uh, uh, Mina grabs on the microphones and hands it to Adeline. As the lady of honor tonight, you get to sing first. Oh, bye. But I don't know any of these songs. That's what I said. It doesn't matter. You can just read the lyrics. Come on. I mean, she still doesn't know like how the you know how the lyrics uh, or you know how the song works. I mean. She might, and she might even sing it completely wrong. Mina pulls Adeline on stage and the two of them sing together. Mina enthusiasm is contagious. Before long, all, all of our hesitation melts away and we sing without her. <sighs> I guess that is just a part of um, that. We rotate through a few songs, singing solos, duets and group pieces, and then we decide to take a break. Erwin, we got something special for you that we knew you'd like. I present the cake and Adeline. Mm. Oh, this looks beautiful. Thank you, Mina. Uh -huh. That was actually my cousin's idea. I know, surprising, right? Hey. Adeline looks surprised but smiles. Thank you. Um, anything for you, baby. You're welcome. I hope you like it. We cut it into cake 
uh, exactly this little bit of soft cotton, blah blah blah, and only need to get to that rocky bunker, uh, blah blah blah, second slice. Since we're all uh, stuffed and happy, Adeline leans back. I was initially apprehensive, but this has been really fun. I think yeah, we all was. <laughs> you know, you will blast the anime songs. <laughs> of course, if weebs go to uh, to you know karaoke, you know we will blast the karaoke song and sing uh, singing languages, uh, which which doesn't make uh, any sense. It's not over yet. No. Uh -huh. No. Not before you've opened your presents. What? Oh yeah. Head up, perks up, and gather our gift. Open mine first. Uh, sure. Let's save the best for last. Um, <clears throat> aka mine. Okay. She unwraps a small jewel. Wait, a small jewel book inside. Tiffin chain bracelet with best friend. Oh god damn it. Is that the same thing? I would guess our cousin I guess us cousin really do think I like. At least I didn't buy the exact same bracelet. Okay, good. Yeah, we would summon demons. Oh, that would be it. Oh, I don't want another demons on my hand. Oh Mina, this is I'm glad you like Hmm. This is for you. It already looks so Get up, uh, mid wrap sparkly. Wait, what? Mm, wrap with present it mer. What? I almost feel bad. Oh, I'll do about. it for you. Damn it, Kose. I said almost. She carefully pe peels back the paper, which re. Oh. I bring some. I keep dang some. What? You're welcome in my home anytime. Oh shit! I should do. Wait, I I'm a high school student. I don't have a house. This is a lovely gift. And I'm so happy to receive it. Thank you. Wait, which house are we talking about? Your apartment house, this thing, or your like the the your family house? Ah, whatever. She slips into blah 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 blah. blah okay. Great minds, Kira. Well, this is a little awkward. This is a little awkward. Here's my present. Then open it. Is it customary to give these bracelets as going away presents? Mm. You too, cuz? Kinda. I thought it was a good I idea. Mean, it is, obviously. Sorry, I, I didn't expect it to get so many of these. The merrier. Uh, I feel like this is kinda awkward, but oh well. Thank you. Okay, so oh. <laughs> I need water. I should have done something personal, but oh well. Now your heart officially belongs to me. <laughs> I don't know how to react, to respond to that. God it! Oh man, why? Why can't such wonderful girls actually exist? Why do we have to create the perfect girl? Actually. Then again, um, perfect girls, perfect boys, perfect males, perfect females, they don't really exist. They, they are just uh, something each person idolized and visualized and... <sighs> that got deep. Let's uh, just continue. That was a nice gift, cuz. Good job. Uh, yeah. Is that all of them? Nope. I was saving the best for last. Uh huh. Autograph. Oh, god damn it. Uh, now. Who oh, had a last minute gift? Mina Jasmine. This is my autograph. It may not seem like much now, but once I become a world famous soccer player, it'll be worth a lot. And you can tell everyone how you knew me before I was famous. I'm a punch you in the throat. You know, grows and scrubs her hand down my face. I knew I should have picked this gift for him. Yeah, why didn't you, though? What's a beam trolley wild? And what is this a photo of? His co coffin. It's me, Kosei. What's a Kosei? Yes, we got to hear it one last time. She blinks up and with the incident, Kosei blinks on me. Seriously? We've been in class together all year! Oh, yeah. I hang out with you all the time! 
But I even sang you a really moving song. What moving song? In the middle of Kozerat, Edwin breaks down laughing. Of course I know who you are, silly. <sighs> I'm gonna miss that. Alright, of course, it was a joke. How did you not understand? Uh, you should have seen your face. How did you not even understand that, you know, the second time she pulled this off? With all her intelligence, you would think she would, you know, remember your face. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I knew it. I, I mean, I was just playing along. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Ah. Uh... Uh -huh. Thank you for the gift. Uh -huh. Wait, there's more in the back. Hmm? Please tell me it maybe it's a picture for flips a picture of it begins with a slow smile. Thank you, Kosei. Is it a picture of all of us? You're welcome. What did it say? Exactly what it needed to say. Uh-huh. Wait what? Wait. Wait, what? I why do I double click, my girl? Why? <sighs> Damn it! No, not all of them. What? There's more. Uh huh. All right, a song. Erlen, this is from all of us to you. Uh huh. Wait. I don't think I was in. I was. Um, I don't think I. Um, did I know this? Ah, oh, whatever. Among a million of so wish out there is ours. Maybe this time it will come true. Whatever. Wait. What? 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 Hold up. Select some. Oh. Wait. Oh, what is this? Is this? Is this an actual song? Damn it! If only Deagle was there, then I could maybe ask him, but oh well. It may not have been the best thing, but it was most hard though. As the music fades away, the real love of the microphone turns to blah 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 blah. And are you okay? Uh, of course! You all sing such a touching and moving song for me. Why wouldn't I be? Uh, damn it! Don't cry. Please don't cry. I can't take it. I mean, uh, girls acting cute is one thing, or girls being cute is another thing, but girls crying? God damn. <sighs> what is it? Are you crying? <laughs> she sniffles and forcefully shakes her head. Don't be ridiculous. There's just some dust in my eyes. This is the time when we hug her, okay? Suddenly, Mina begins. Oh my gosh! Erwin! I mean, you are part Velden, so I mean. Aside from humans, I'm pretty sure you can go and come to Evelden whenever you want. If you want to die, that is. No, I have dust in my eyes too. We need better uh, friends, Kosei. These girls can't be honest. The, the cleanliness of this place is appalling. I I know. God damn these Velden girls. Kira, even Kira seems misty eyed. We'll miss you. So, um, Kosei? I'll miss you too. I hear a sniffle beside me. Kosei, you too? You too, really? Allergies, man, <laughs> allergies! <laughs> I guess, I suppose we are in that period. Ah. <sighs> I have dust in my eyes too. Um. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't like that song so much, but we shouldn't end up the night by being turning into blubbering messes. That's what I think too. Come on guys, we can end up better on Sad note. You're right, you're right. Better lean with your eyes and that's Thank you for that. Truly. <sighs> you're welcome. We sounded pretty good, right? Yes, although someone did sound a little flat. Excuse me for not liking to sing, okay? She looks Pointly at me. <laughs> we can do uh, Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, can't sing, can't dance. Just fight. Eventually, pack uh, everything up. Um, Natalie touched us. Thank you so much for the party. I had an amazing time. If only I could leave twice just so we could have another. Ah. Uh, uh. If you want another party, then you'll have to come back. If that oh. is how it must be, then I will make it happen. 
color red loads to a close. I'm getting it, we should probably. Agreed. I am exhausted. Did you even sing? I suppose maybe, maybe she did. We didn't even get to know confirmation if, if she was good at, at singing. Kelsey and I are going to hang out, so you two can head back without me. Ah, uh, thank you. I see what you're doing there. Thank you. Okay. I should return too. Mina and I can walk you home, Kira. Chip links. I don't want to be an inconvenience. No, no, Cozy's right. It's really late and he shouldn't walk alone. That's correct. Yeah, and after all that cake, we could use the extra exercise. They're giving us some free time. I see Speak what they do. for yourself. I barely had any. Yeah, right. Says the girl who had three slices. She probably had five. Yeah, like I said, barely any. Oh, god damn, you glut. Well, if you don't mind, then I'd welcome the company. Nice. Of course we don't mind. Mina turns to me and waves. I'll see you later, cuz. See ya. After everyone says the goodbyes, Edel and I leave the venue and begin our walk back home. She ho hooks her arm through mine and leans her head on my shoulder. Did you have a good time? Yes. It was really kind of everyone to host a party for me. Uh-huh. That's what friends are for. But I feel really fortunate to have such good friends. Mm -hmm. What about your boyfriend? I suppose he's acceptable. Uh, what does that mean? Just acceptable? Are you sure you mean exponential? She shrugs her eyes twinkling mischievously. What has he done that's exceptional? <sighs> Give her a kid the best. Giving her the best kiss she has ever had, let's do that. This! In one smooth movement, I twirl her into my chest and dip her low. Her hair fills behind her like a silky waterfall and her breath catches in her throat. Looking, lock, looking deep into her eyes, I slowly close the distance until our lips touch. Immediately, I fall into her sweet softness, her touch igniting a passionate fire. Her arms wrap around my neck, growing her closer, fueling the flames. When they finally pull away, she lets out a soft gasp. How's that? I suppose that could be considered exceptional. Damn, I'm so glad I chose this. I grin. Finally, we arrive at the house. The lights are off and the place is empty. All the Miko and alcohol have gone out for the evening too. It's time to do it, man! It's time to do it! Get the get the stuff out, get the get the um, you know what you I guess we are the only ones home. Yes, it does seem to be that. But way. then again, this may not be one of those visual novels. God damn it! After taking out to return, blah 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 blah, she leaves her head like a special and holding in the stillness together. I can only think about blah blah blah. You're <sighs> very quiet. Sorry, I'm just thinking. What about? How much I'm going to miss you. She nestles my shoulder. I'll miss you too. This whole situ situation just sucks. I understand, but we must have patience. It will take time. Much longer than I'd like, but trust that I will fight for you. Adeline, uh, I, I want to fight for you too, but I don't know how. <sighs> I want us to be together. And oh, she had to do a spot. Damn it, I clicked too fast. It's my I know. She nods. Let's not worry about that right now. We should be happy while we're still together. Aha! Uh -huh. This. Ah. I don't want to spend our remaining time worrying about stuff I can't control. Shin uncurls her step on my arms and stands up. In fact, I want to give you a little gift to cheer you up. Uh, oh, what is it? Wait here. In a flash, it disappeared. I tried to be patient while I wait for it. I wonder what it could be. A minute sick by, and my anticipation grows. Um, and part of me contemplates looking for her, but I know she'd be disappointed if I ruined the surprise. A moment later, Adeline returns carrying a plate. Crap, sandwich. <laughs> How. Wait. <laughs> 
I mean, the first sandwich was, I mean, edible, but... Wow, Erin, this looks great. Did you make it for me? Yes. I can't wait to taste it. I think it's time to my hands and take a bite. Bread is soft and fluffy and balanced. Hmm. You sound surprised. No. Given your track record doing with making sandwiches, I'm a little a little bit. <sighs> Remember, guys, if she can't make a sandwich, she's not the one. Which only makes Adeline the better wife for them, because she can actually make a sandwich. This seems like a bad thing to actually uh, take, you know, choose a woman of. Yes, I didn't know how to make them before I came here. In fact, as much as I hate to admit it, there were a lot of things I couldn't do before I met you. Uh huh. Erin settles in beside me, her expression turning unusually serious. Without you, I would never have learned how to become self sufficient. True. I was pushed to do things I wouldn't dream to do on my own. Maybe. Even if I wasn't thrilled about it at the time. You weren't? Chuckle, Adeline could certainly be difficult if she wanted to be. Like a spoiled brat. Through your perseverance, I learned more than just basic skills. I also learned how to empathize with others, which is something that I didn't even realize I was lacking. I mean, it's not like you were com a complete monster. Mm hmm... She looks down and takes my hand into hers. But most importantly, I learned how to love. I am pretty sure you... Wait, did she really love her pos... I, I mean, from what I heard, she didn't really like her position as a princess that much. If anything, she maybe saw it more like a um, burden, to be more specific. Uh, or maybe if we think about it. Of course, this sandwich isn't nearly enough to thank you for all that you've done for me, but just think of it as the first of many gifts to come. <sighs> Sips pants back up and uh, I'm putting clothes back on. This is way too uh, cute to actually uh, think, uh, you know, about cultural stuff, but oh well. Her hand squeezes mine, I squeeze back it reassuringly. This sandwich is the Blah 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 with only valid material things. She now understands the sentiments of gifts. Sandwich seemed like a boring food item, but it was one of our first moments together. Because of that, it's the best gift she could ever give it me. You're wrong about one thing. This gift is more than enough, and it's all that I will ever need. Early dog trying to imprint the touch of the skin with my memory. I don't know how I will get all of her again, and I will never want to forget how she feels. <sighs> This is kind of actually depressing. I can gently pull away from Edgy and I live to grow into a playful smirk. So, this was all that you'd ever need, is that right? Uh... You know what, maybe we should talk about culture. Then I suppose you won't be wanting the real gift that I had planned to give you. I perk up. There's more? There could be. I like more. Please more. Is that so? I'm so glad you don't give me an, uh, uh, give me the the choice to not uh, have take it. What is it? Something that I think you'll enjoy very much. <sighs> Mom, Dad, this may be the time I will become a man. With a sultry flip over here, Adeline slides herself across my lap. I took a what? What? Also, wait, my breath catches into my throat and my heart pounds in my chest. The pounding reaches my ears as her lips slowly draw closer, pulsing teasingly out of reach before meeting in a fury touch. Passion ignites me as I wrap her in my arms, pulling her against me. I fall into the heat, feeling dots of electricity with every touch of our skin. Wait, um... Are we doing it right now, or are we... Uh, is it the other just kissing? All too soon she pulls away. You're right. Damn it! I knew that you would. Well, yeah, please tell me it's more. More? Oh yeah. More? More! 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 <laughs> You'll get tired of asking before I get tired of giving. No. I grin. Wanna bet? She matches my grin with a cat-like smirk and then leans in for, for another kiss. 
speaking of animals, what about Denna? Who is going to take care of Denna? Is am I going to have to take care of Denna? Uh, I hope I hopefully they will you know um, uh, cover that part of the story. But oh well. We stay together uh, late into the night, enjoying each other's company and the closeness of being together. Having her beside me feel just right, blah 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 blah. Save so every moment we left, we saw the blah 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 blah. She comes again as my as my finger play with her hair. Why her hair exactly? The gentle rise uh, of all of her breathing and the warmth of her body soon lost me into a gentle sleep. Even though it's my very early in the morning, I wake up fully alert with heaviness in my chest. Adeline is leaving... Leaving soon. Why did I stutter on that? As I get up, I wander, wander around the house, but I'm greeted by a silent emptiness. Adeline? Did she already leave? Adeline? Trying to tame the creeping panic, I race towards the door. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I will. I whip around and pull Adeline into a hug. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. Of course. Where else would I be? I thought you. I thought you might have already left. She pulls away, shaking her head. No. Although if you'd taken any longer, I may have had to. Oh, we both know you wouldn't. She smiles weakly, trying to put on a brave face, but I see the glitter of tears in her eyes. <sighs> Pull her into me once more, and Adeline burns her face into my chest. I told her, feeling comfortably, warmth of the body, worried that I would let her go and uh, I'll never see her again. Damn it! She clings to me like a lifeline, while a wave of emotion washes over her. I don't know how long we'll stay together, but eventually she reluctantly falls away. It's time. I nod. With a heavy heart, the two of us depart the house. Hand in hand, we walk towards the shrine. Wispy fog clouds the streets in the cool, crisp morning. It's, it feels like there's an energy crackling in the air, preparing for Adeline's return. But uh, we step through the shrine gates and head towards the main hall, where we immediately see Nil waiting for us. Behind him is the rest of our friends and family. Adeline pauses, glancing at each of us. Her voice cracks when she finally speaks. You're all here. Of course we are. We wouldn't miss saying goodbye to our friend. Uh -huh. Thank you, everyone. You don't know how much you each mean to me. <sighs> Mina eyes bubbles with tears. She races towards Adeline and throws her arms around her big, uh, in a big hug. Damn, this is a <laughs> this is a sweet moment. Let's not ruin it. Let's not ruin it. You too. Uh huh. I wish you had more time here. There's so much I still want to ask you about being Velden. I mean, can't you can't you just talk that with your aunt? I suppose not then. I mean, perhaps you'll have a chance to visit your heritage. Velden welcomes you anytime. I mean, what about the? Um, what about the? Uh, also, don't judge me, uh, Erebus. I understand that was a bad timing, bad stuff, but seriously. Perhaps you have a chance to visit there. I'd like that. But what about... The same offer stands for you too, of course. But... Thank you, dear. But what about... I really want to know about uh, how they would react to humans, but oh well. I'm so glad I had a chance to meet you. You tell Ida to take it easy on you, okay? Sometimes she overdoes it with her missions. I feel like that's some stuff that, you know, should probably be, you know, better explained, but... Like, I mean, what about dog? What do... how do they react to humans? Um, how are actually... What are actually, you know, the requirements to, you know, space uh, time travel in this universe? Uh, I mean, from my experience, you need to cre be able to create an anomaly and whatnot but um what are your kind what are you what are you what is this story about um you know how are they able to create those anomal anomaly or oh, them i can't even speak i will thank you for taking such good care of me you too uncle hajime he grins pulling her we're going to miss having you around the house come visit whenever you like if she can that is 
She will. Let's not be negative about this. Let's really not be negative about this. It's not good. Thank you for being someone I could trust from the start. I don't believe I'd have made it this far without your support. You don't know. I'm glad to have been of help. They both smile and another voice interrupts them. Don't forget me! Who are you? Kosei bumps forward into Emily's view. I could never forget you, Kosei. You actually forgot! I mean, uh, uh, you actually remembered. God damn! This is what happens when you do that stuff and it becomes a habit. He grins proudly as she says his name. Come find me when you return. Even after I'm a famous soccer player, I'll still make time for you. Uh, I mean, with Mina around, will you actually be able to take that, you know, make that dream come true? That is my question. I'll keep that in mind. Finally, Edelyn turns to me. I wish we didn't have to say goodbye. This is until later. This isn't goodbye. This is until we meet again. Edelyn blinks and slowly slides into a small spine. Until we meet again. I pull her into one final embrace, remembering as much as I can about her before I let her go. With all of her goodbyes done, Edelyn steps to Nil's side. Are you ready, your highness? Yes. Wait, I... how... how are they able to, you know... Scepter, then he points to, into the skies, muttering a few words under his breath. In a flash, the skies part into a blazing rainbow and shit, blah blah blah, they dance fast and my eyes can trace them. As the colorful storms thrill, then she looks forward. Oh! So, okay, okay, um, they create an anomaly which are uh, able to, you know, suck up uh, people or animals or whatever that is in in uh, their range for their, their choosing. Not a, not a uh, technique, um, uh, not, not a technique too unfamiliar with, but uh, not the usual type. I would just create an anomaly uh, uh, out of uh, out nowhere and just go in myself but you know doing that seems kind of you know having the anomaly um, you know take you in kind of lazy but oh well it's a technique and I shouldn't judge it Adeline disappears as quickly as she's fallen into my life they're at the space where she last stood she's gone now it's real and the thought hits me like a truck is that an isekai reference? I, 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 is he going to uh, be... <laughs> that would be funny, just to get the hit by a truck and then he magically opens and his eyes and he's in Melden. That would be cool. And funny. Magic BS, don't question it. Eh, magic, I mean... Magic is all about FU science, so... Doesn't make, does make sense. I'm without her. Alone. Alone again. Welcome to... Welcome to reality. Just before my thoughts all around me, I feel like I had clasped my shoulder. She'll be back, my man. Yeah, she likes you too much not to. That's... Damn, uh, that actually... Damn. She likes me too much to not to? That's actually... I don't know why that actually, you know, kind of makes me happy, but... Uh, oh well. I suppose it's just uh, the feeling of uh, somebody really, really loving you, I suppose. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll all be waiting for her together. That's right. I look at each of my friends' smiling face and realize we all be feeling the same way. I'm not alone because they haven't touched each other uh, since Ellie touched each of our lives. They aren't focusing on the sadness, but on their hope. Yep. Uh, slowly I grin. Yeah, you're right. My gaze travels to the wishing box where we, where all of it began. Although it's only been a few months, it feels like a lifetime ago that I was just an unsuspecting kid whose biggest worry was starting high school. Now, I discovered a family secret. Made of unexpected but lifelong friends. I've fallen in love. All because I returned a wallet. So, you're telling me good deeds are actually rewarded? 
Okay, now that is kind of up for debate, but let's not focus on that right now. It may seem like our adventure has come to a close, but this is just the first chapter. Many more to come. If that's the if that's the case, then hey, Pixel Fate, you better make an after story after this, and it better be like uh, uh, Erilyn and the MC just enjoying a happily married life. Also, do do answer some of the, my questions, like uh, am I the one taking care of Denna? Um, how does Velden react to humans visiting them? I mean, they visit us all the time, why can't we visit them? And just like that, everything fades into darkness. Oh! And just like that! Ah, well, that was... Quite the... Um, uh, that was quite the journey, I really enjoyed it! Um... Uh, oh, is that me? Damn! Uh... Wow, there's so many... Wow, is this pictures I didn't get to see or what? And that, there's the opening... Uh, there's the opening credit, and... Is this like actual- ooh, damn! Feels like they actually made an anime uh, season out of this or whatnot, but oh well. Huh. Damn, this is... Um, I mean, this really was fun, but... And... Yeah. So, um... Oh, whoops. Whoops, I, I just clicked it without the thinking. Whoops! Uh, whoopsie? It's been four, four months since uh, we all said goodbye at the shrine. Wait, hold up. Deagle said that um, time flows uh, quicker over there. So, how, how much older would she be then? Adeline transition out of school was a lot smoother than her transition in. Ooh. Mm. There was something reshuffling the student council with Adeline and Dice to go homestay programs ending early. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I got a burp. Luckily, she had Prep Jiro to take over our class uh, representative, and so far he's been representing us well. Oh, he did! He's no longer a stick in the mud, and it seems like Adeline's charisma rubbed off on him. Really? Outside of school, the bakery is still going strong. Aunt Emiko and Uncle Hajime are busy as ever. Even with Mina's help and my help, my aunt and uncle are barely keep up with blah 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 blah. Okay. And now that we know that Aunt Emiko true heritage, she has been a boulder in embracing her belt and past. Mina and I eagerly listened to her many escapes uh, and stories of what life was like in Belden. Some of her stories are so amazing that I wish I could visit the Elden too. Yeah, that's the thing. Can we though? I mean, it's oh 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 um, uh, Mina blah 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 blah. Now that I don't know how to. Ah, uh, whatever. And, so, and the boy that had the tra that training paid off. Um, Mina set the record fast, blah 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 blah. Good for her, good for her. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Whoopsie. Kose is doing equally well in this stuff. He's made in the starter galley. Um, uh, go goalie on the team. And the first freshman to ever do so. He's, ma he's still working uh, his job at the arcade, and Summer has a lot of his pure enthusiasm for dishes. Though he does need a haircut. With the busy schedules, Kose and Mina are relatively stronger than ever, although you wouldn't know it by how often they argue. Still don't understand, but their bickering is often uh, how they anchor blah 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 blah. How about me and Kendo? Yeah, another thing I want uh, to, you know, want uh, answers to. How well did I go in the doing the kendo. Those two aren't young. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Kira comes in special and Ooh, Kira has become an artist. 
uh, transfer this on a problem. Her parents fully support her decision and write her house for her at her new school. She's moved to keep from Oh, she moved even. Kira frequently keeps in touch with us. She brings me back to blah 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 blah. Manga characters are decent members. Each time to come be. Huh. Gotta keep, gotta, gotta keep that uh, advantage there by with knowing the author. As for Adeline and I, our story remained on pause. I sit in the living room pretending to do my homework. My books are open, but my mind is elsewhere, just like every day. We've been apart for so long that it doesn't stop me from thinking about her. I wonder how she's doing. Did she make peace with her aunt? Is she busy ruling her constituents? Does she still remember me? I think, if anything, she would most likely, you know, yeah. Plus, she got your she got our bracelet. Shake my head, blah blah blah. Why haven't I heard out from her? Early warned me that it'd be hard. We could be without contact for months or years, but knowing that it doesn't ease the pain. Still, I promise that I wait for her, and I intend to keep that promise. Sometime I imagine the doorbell will ring and it will be Adeline, scowling because she forgot her key. <laughs> <sighs> I hear again, snap back, snap back to, snap back to reality, not attention. Ding dong. It's real, whoever is ringing is very impatient. I leave my feet uh, and race to the door, swinging it right open. I my hope source when I see long blonde hair floating behind the curves that I can never forget. It's rude to keep a lady waiting. I'm so free. <clears throat> and Adeline co crosses her arm, but the sparkling eyes of light gives her away. Adeline. I knew they couldn't just leave off with with that. Hello. Hello indeed. Just seeing her fills my heart again. I rush forward and envelop her, envelop her in my arms. Give her hugs back and for a moment we stand there holding each other. The emotion flow through me at an alarming speed. I want to laugh and cry. Having her in my arms feels again so natural and I never want to let it go. Eventually we pull apart. I've missed you. I've missed you too. Man, I can't believe you're here. I'm sorry it took so long, but I brought a special gift for you. Me? Here, yeah, her hands remain coldly behind her back as she gazes at me. You did? It's another kiss? Or not? I mean... She nods, a blush tint her cheeks uh, as a delicate pink as she reveals a beautiful red rose. <laughs> I would be, I would be, I hope, hopefully this will be from Weldon. I would be a bit mad if um, she just went into someone's backyard and just uh, took it, but that would be funny though. All flowers has a meaning behind it. Adeline taught me that. Red for love, a red rose. Before I can complete my sentence, Adeline embraces me with a soft kiss. Electricity tingles in my veins at her touch. I've forgotten how sweet she tasted. Um, no, 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 no. Let's uh, not. Let's not read this. And the softness of her lips, warm, warm, warm blossoms in my chest as I deepen the kiss, pulling her body against me until Adeline slowly, teasingly pulls away. I definitely missed that. As have I. Damn. Uh, how long will you be staying? As long as I wish. Really? I blink. You don't need to go back? Uh, and also, can I come with you if, you if you absolutely have to? I do. But this time, I came prepared. Don't worry, I'm not ruining the moment. I I held myself back. She bites her lip, signing to coy grin. And for the first time, I noticed something watching out there. A gold regal scepter. With a smile, I stepped back as I welcomed the elderly home. Finn. Wait. 
Oh, final. Oops. I'm about to just quick say that. Ah. <sighs> Damn. What an ending. Okay, let's let's go back here. Ho ho ho! What an ending. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't. I maybe had to, I don't know how to, what to say. Except that was really, I really enjoyed that game really well and damn it, now I gotta find something else to, uh, to take uh, Ethereal Enigma stream. But yeah, I suppose this is the last Ethereal Enigma stream. I thank you everyone for watching up to now and if you want to show the support to the cult or should I, the organization, um, you know what to do. Let's get try and get a thousand uh, members on this organization as quickly as possible. And also, let's uh, if you have any games for me you want to see me play, then leave that in the comment sections below. Again, this is Aldo Bokte, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!